Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have a Aquarius and you're on your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. So don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Okay, if you want to book a personal reading with me, just email me. My email is in the description box down below. I want to say I appreciate everybody that like my video, share it, comment, okay, and dislike my video. I really, really appreciate you guys so much. Okay, so let's see what's going on for my Aquariuses, Spirit Guides, and Light, Ancestors, and Masters, and the current light. Please protect this deck from any negative energies. Please, I'm to receive clear and precise messages for Aquariuses. So let's see. So we have here Aries. So it could be um, an Aries that you could be dealing with Aquarius or somebody could have Aries in their chart. Okay, but it says passionate, driven, and energetic, restless, leader, ambitious. Okay, so I'm seeing right, right now, Aquarius, you could be in um, the energy where you're being assertive, okay? You're speaking up for yourself. You, you could have like a leadership role in um, what you do for work. Okay, like a lot of people see you as reliable. Okay, you get the job done. But I'm seeing you're a hard worker here, okay? And you take very good care of yourself. Because I'm seeing in this car, you see how fit this woman is. Okay, somebody here could like, like Marvel, like the superheroes, okay? Like be a huge fan. But... Yeah, I'm just seeing like you could exercise, you have a, a really nice um body, okay. You could be like eating healthy, okay. But let's see. So it says I was impulsive, irrational, and selfish. I pushed this connection to its breaking point. I'm sorry for causing so much conflict in our lives. Okay. So I'm seeing here it could be an uh, Aries, it could be any sign though, but specifically what I'm seeing here, it could be an Aries, okay. That's wanted to come back to you and treat you fairly here and you know do the right thing okay we have visionary so it says feeling hopeful empowered thinking positively moving forward beginning to think about or planning the future with imagination or wisdom okay so it says, I finally see and understand everything. I'm feeling hopeful for the future. I'm, I am envisioning you back in my life while continuously working on myself. Okay. So, yeah, so I'm saying it could be somebody here. They're, they're coming back. They're thinking about you heavy, too. I feel like this person, they could be getting their shit together here because they don't want to come, like, with their shit not together, okay? And I'm seeing it could be a cancer involved, okay? So I'm seeing here, it's like this person with this Aries energy, I'm seeing this person could have been trying to act hard. You know, like when it was distorted, like they was like impulsive, impatient, aggressive. They had like a lot of mood swings, okay? This person angers easily, but I'm seeing this person is fixing that, okay? Cause it's upright, okay? And I feel like this person, you know, could have gained their power back in situations where they could have either been dealing with the karmic or this person could have had addictions that they're getting rid of, okay? But I'm really seeing somebody getting their shit together here, and I feel like somebody here don't want to be hard anymore. Like, somebody here just want to be vulnerable with you and, you know, honest. Yeah, because this cancer here, I'm seeing here, this person wants to be loyal, protective, and they could be intuitive, okay? This person wants to show their caring side, their devoted side, Okay? But it says, loyal, protective, intuitive, caring, devoted, perceptive, tenacious, okay? So you could have another sign come in. It could be a cancer mm. or something that could be happening during um, air season, okay, or cancer season, or it could have just happened this year during air season or cancer season. But we have, I always, I was always so hot and cold with you, and I know that was confusing. Our connection was too much for me to handle, and that was the only way I could deal with it, yeah. So I feel like somebody here is wanting to step up to the plate, okay? And show you like they are a good person, okay? They could be the partner that you deserve, okay? 
And somebody here shows you a complete opposite side of them. That's like somebody didn't know how to express themselves. Okay, but they're working on that. Yeah, somebody who's going through the dark night of the soul. It said enhanced awareness of identity, an extremely difficult and painful period, personal and deep development of oneself. Okay, well, I don't know why I'm getting that song when I just sing Help. You know that real Boston Richie song, Help Me? I don't know why I'm getting that when I just sing this. So, them, them lyrics can resonate with y'all's situation. I don't know. So it says here, it says, I'm fighting my demons and re-examining my actions. It is life altering and also extremely painful at times. I fight against the changes, but I know it must happen for me to evolve. Yeah. Yeah, this person did try to um, fight against these changes that they need to make. But somebody here, they're, they're, I'm seeing they're, they're facing reality. Okay. They're being honest with themselves. And this person is... It's taking the help. Somebody could be going to rehab, okay, or going to a counselor or a therapist or something. Or this person, they could watch terror videos and they could be helping them ascend, okay. But yeah, I'm seeing this person, they was, they was, they can't hide anymore, you know. I feel like with this cancer energy here, it's like this person, it's like their emotion just kept rising and rising and rising for you. No matter how much they tried to push it off or act like they didn't give a fuck about you, they really did. And I really get in here, like this person is visioning you guys making love too with Naughty Thoughts. So this person, they could watch you online. Okay, they be sexually like fantasizing about you. Okay. So let's see what else. Ooh, Leo. Why are all these signs popping out? So it could be connected to Leo. Or something could be happening during Leo season or it already did. Because Leo season just passed, I think. I don't know if he's still in it. But, um, so it says, magnetic, enthusiastic, outgoing, creative, romantic, leader, generous. Okay, I feel like, I don't know why I just got in my head. Because it's how somebody sees you. Okay, like they feel that magnetic pull towards you. Okay, somebody could be a singer or a songwriter or a rapper. Okay. I'm seeing here, it's like, you could be, like, known in the public, okay, like, you could be, like, popular, or this person could be, okay, or what y'all could be. It says, I was used to being the central focus of everyone's attention, but your magnetism outweighed mine, and I was insecure about that. So, this person could have been, you know, intimidated by how much attention he was getting from other people, like, they wasn't able to, like, handle that, like, this person just... Like the attention on them, you know, and it's like every Leo that I know is like they're very like popular, well known, you know. So that could have been you, Aquarius, and this person. I feel like they could have been like insecure about that because they probably didn't want nobody like trying to come at you because they probably feel like you were gonna lead them if you've seen somebody like better looking or having more money than them or something like that. Okay, I feel like this person they was could have been overthinking. They could have been allowing their thoughts to. Their negative thoughts to take over y'all connection and self-sabotage it. So somebody here wasn't secure with themselves. And that's why this person is, I feel like y'all need that space where this person can, can grow and heal those things. Yeah, see, reinvention. Somebody here is reinventing themselves. It says, metamorphosis of mind and spirit, changing oneself into something better, working on shadow aspect and becoming aware of strengths and weaknesses. I'm so glad I'm, I, I, I have a reading like this today. I usually don't be having readings of people like getting their shit together. Okay, it just be karma, karma, karma. So it says, I'm trying to reinvent myself and release the old me. I took you for granted, disappointed you, and deserted you when you needed me the most. I want to come back stronger so I could build something better with you. Yeah. So, I don't know if you want to take this person back. Some of y'all probably do. Mm -hmm. But I really get, like, a genuine, sincere, like, change within this person. We have attached. Yeah, this person, they're attached to you. I'm saying this person, they want to marry you. It says, afraid of the unknown, karmic ties and responsibilities in a committed relationship with someone else. Okay. We have here, I'm connected to my karmic partner due to responsibilities. I want to face my issues head on and work through things before I return. I know it's not easy, but I'm trying my best. Okay, so I feel like this is past energy. 
I don't feel like this person's still attached to this karmic. Okay, for some of y'all, it probably still is. And you know, I don't know how that divorce should go, but I really pick it up on somebody. This is past energy. Like they're not attached to this person anymore. Okay. I feel like it's a karmic hair that is in the little land thinking that this person and them are still together and somebody here don't want to be bothered with this karmic. Okay, you can get to Taurus. So it says, practical, loyal, trustworthy, stable, takes pleasure in beauty. Okay. So I was saying, you could like love color. Like somebody here loves like wearing color. Okay, you could have like an afro. Okay. I'm seeing here somebody here could be um like bi or somebody here could be like a lesbian or gay. So somebody could be yeah, into like the same sex. Or somebody could be coming out the closet. Somebody here was being down low, but somebody here is finna, you know. Say say their 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 sex status, what they like, what they prefer. So that's good. For some of y'all, this could have been somebody that you was connected to. This person, they could be bi, like they could like men and women. Okay, or somebody here is completely like like the same sex. And they could be, be, they could have been connected to a karmic partner here that was like black belt. And I'm saying I'm like, if you leave me, I want to tell people that you like the same sex because they could have found some information on this person, like being down low or something like that. And this person, they could have been scared and could have stayed attached to this karmic because of them being afraid of what other people would think if they came out. Okay, so we have here, I took forever in making up my mind about our connection. Instead of speaking to you, I would run away and indulge in unnecessary pleasures in order to ignore my feelings. Okay. Mm. We have here, great source of power. Yeah, so I'm seeing in here that somebody here won't. Y'all gonna be together, okay? I'm saying y'all gonna be a power couple here. Y'all gonna inspire other couples here, okay? Like I'm saying, you guys sharing y'all story, you know, about how y'all like reconnected, what y'all went through with karmics and shit and addictions, okay? But it says the dream team of change, reunion creates a. Ex I said it right. Reunion creates. Ex bonicio, ex bonicio growth, ex bonicio growth, ex bonicio growth. Okay, highly influential in agents of change. Yeah, y'all gonna influence a lot of people here. Period. I never understood what people meant when they use the term power couple. However, since me and you, I realized how much positive change we can create together. Yeah. So I really feel like both of y'all help each other grow. And ways that y'all probably don't even know that y'all help each other grow. We have Pisces. Oh my god, all these signs popping out. We got Leo, Cancer, Aries, Taurus, Pisces. Okay. So you got all these signs that are trying to talk to you right now, Chris. What's going on? Okay. You looking good as hair. Everybody trying to talk to you? Let me know in the comments. Okay. So it says creative, intuitive, empathetic, kind, generous, romantic, mystical, and gentle. Okay, and we have here, it says, I had an idealistic view on what a relationship should look like. You challenged their perspective and made me question my whole value system. I didn't understand what you were trying to teach me, but I do but I do now. Yeah, so this person, you know, like, they could have seen, like, unhealthy relationships growing up here, and this person could have thought that shit was normal, and then they tried to bring that shit down with you, and you're just like, no, like, this is not, no. I feel like you're very spiritual with the Pisces card here, like, you're intuitive, okay? You could be more spiritual than this person, this person could be, like, more 3D. But I'm sitting here, it's like, you help this person balance that. And this person help you balance your 5D, your 3D here. Because I'm saying you could have been, like, very, like, dreamy and, you know, hopeless romantic here and up in the eat this too much, okay? And 
this person it could have been like very like 3d you know very practical realistic you know And I'm seeing it's like how this person treated you and it was in their karmic energy. It made you come back down and through to like, okay, I want to be with this person. I love this person. You know, I have this magnetic pull to this person, you know. And I just know like we're meant to come together and create something, you know. And this person, they was like... probably looking at you like are you crazy like you know like i'm treating you this way and you're just you know accepting it because you think we are meant to be together you know because i don't know if you could have been telling this person like you know we're like soulmates okay and this person just like what like i'm seeing somebody here just being like very like confused as far as like soulmates and spirituality and shit like that like this person know nothing about that this person probably don't even believe in God. Okay? So I hear that probably don't even pray. Like, they probably don't even have nothing that they look up to or confine in, you know, as far as, like, who they pray to. Or this private person could have, like, a, a, a distorted view on, like, spirituality and, like, either tarot, if you watch it, this person that you watch it. Okay, they probably thought like it was like evil or something and it's not. And now somebody here is like taking your advice and looking more into the thing that you tried to teach them as far as spirituality, like the laws of the laws of attraction and shit like that. Okay. So Somebody out of here is understanding that, like, oh, like, this is why everything happened the way it did, you know? Yeah, yeah somebody out of here, they're watching you. So if y'all are separated right now, this person, they're watching you, okay? Yeah, see, y'all are destined to be together. Destiny, period. So it says watching. It says create fake accounts to stay up to date, pretends to not care, but becomes obsessive late night scrolling on social media platforms. So it says, even if I'm gone, I'm still connected to you in some way. I can cut you off completely, but I am afraid to return. My only interaction with you is through your social media. I miss you. Aww. <laughs> I find it a little chatty that this person gotta watch you from fake pages, but hey. I guess we have here, you were destined to meet strong, unbreakable bond, passionate love, and strong desire, deep inner knowing of divine connection. So it says, I am understanding our relationship and our connection. What I once thought was trivial was something more on a higher consciousness. I couldn't understand it then, but I do now. Yeah. And you could do, like, you could be do spiritual shit for work. And this person, they could watch you. And they're connecting the dots. I don't know if this person thought you was lying to them or you thought you was like a know-it-all or something like that. This person probably thought you was trying to like brainwash them or something. But they're saying the shit that you're saying is actually happening like in real life. Yeah, this person, they could listen to people opinions about y'all connection and about you and shit like that. And they, they... You know, allow these people to brainwash them and make them think that, you know, this was fake and, you know, keep them in karmic energy here. This person could have had karmic friends and family members around them and shit. Or exes here that still wanted this person that was hating on you. Okay. So it says, unrelatable and unsympathetic advice. Easily influenced by others and their viewpoints. Unpleasant opinions created doubt and denial of connection. So it says, I was foolish to believe the opinions of others. I should have trusted my heart more than what other uh, what others thought about our connection. Please forgive me for doubting our connection. Mm -hmm. So this person, I want you to forgive them for listening to these wretched, dusty, bum-ass people about y'all connection. This person, instead of watching you, they need to come and say something, honestly. Like, 
I'm saying somebody here could be dreaming about you as well. But you can feel this person watching you. And I feel like you're looking good as hell, okay? This person probably trying to make sure you ain't talking to nobody else. Future focus. So it says strong sense of self and feeling hopeful, awakened, and being aligned with connection. Positive outlook on life and focus on future, period. So it says I am devoted to returning to you. I, I'm starting to feel hopeful about the future because I see you being a big part of it. Okay, period. So this person is there. They're leaving the past in the past. Okay, they could be seeing angel numbers and symbols. It says positive movement forward, divinely guided towards union, multiple messages through different forms. So it says, I am receiving many messages about you through diamond symbols and images. The universe is showing me my way back to you and you back to me. Aww. Okay, I'm not taking them. Just give me one card. We have Gugunchi's gossip. It says, unable to control and has the overwhelming need to share false or misleading info. Overindulgent and overinsumption of personal narratives that may or may not be true. So I feel like this person, when other people was having their opinions about you and this connection, this person that could have been bad, not bad, not the new two to these people, making up lies and shit, trying to make themselves like the victim in the situation here. Okay, so uh, telling these people what the fuck they was doing. This person that could have been, you know. Juggling with somebody else. It says, I am an idiot. I spoke about our connection as if it was trivial. I didn't respect the sensitivity <laughs> of our connection. Instead of keeping things between me and you, I allow others to interfere. Yeah. So they could allow these karmic hosts to interfere, whoever. They allowed a lot of people to interfere. Okay, and I feel like this person they feel so dumb. They're still trying to forget themselves for listening to the shit and you know going along with it. That's why I feel like this person that watch you because you know they probably know that you know that they was talking shit about you and going along with these people. Okay, so they don't know how you're gonna react to them. But I'm really getting like sorry here, like genuinely sorry. Okay. I really just got all this person's energy. I don't know how you're feeling at this moment. I really didn't get your energy in this, this situation. This person, they could have a lot of different signs in their chart too. We got Pisces, Leo, Cancer, Taurus, Aries. I see Scorpio too, but it didn't come out. Yeah. But... Yeah, spiritual practices here. So it says, becoming aware to intuition and guides, meditating and releasing self-limited beliefs, working on inner, inner healing and issues with codependency. Yeah. So this person, they could be, you know, healing their inner child. Okay. You could have uh, told this person too, like, you know, they had like childhood trauma and shit. They didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Like this person was just oblivious to spirituality. Okay. Like, now they know the... Now that I listen to her intuition here, okay? Somebody has become more self-aware. So it says, I am healing myself through meditation and spiritual practices. It is the only way I can make myself whole. So somebody here could be meditating, okay? And yeah, I feel like everything's gonna happen in divine timing here. It says, believe Zuni what happen when it needs to. The universe is placing people, deem challenges and more into your life when you can, when you can have them. Believe that everything in life happens exactly at the right moment. So it says, I want to take action towards you. I want to talk with you, be with you, and feel you. Please be patient, my love. I will come back to you in divine timing. So, I don't know. I don't know what you got going on, but this is what this person got going on, okay? So yeah, I feel like you just really just focused on you, you and your power right now, okay? You're doing good, okay? I feel like you want to with yourself, you're emotionally content. Okay, looking good as fuck, like, your money looking good as fuck, and yeah, you just, I'm really getting like your emperor's here, okay? And somebody who's trying to get up there with you, divine masculine. 
Mm -hmm. So I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.